Hi Sagittarius, so this is going to be a reading for December 17th through the 24th. Thank you guys so much for joining me. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Sagittarius. So if you do not have those placements, I would definitely check out my other videos. And also, if you'd like to cross-watch, I would also check the videos out to see if you get a full, you know, message and a full idea of what's going on. But we're going to hop straight in. If you want to take advantage of any of my sales that I have going on until the 25th, make sure that you do. Uh, if you do want a personal reading by me, uh, make sure you take advantage of the phone call sessions because... It's definitely something that I wanted to give you guys for the people who couldn't afford getting a, I guess, full price reading. So anyways, if you're interested in that, all the information is below and we're going to hop straight in, okay? So I actually started your video before, but then it just stopped. I don't know what's going on. We got out of Mercury Retrograde, but things are still a little cray, but um. I guess we could talk about the spiritual message that I pulled for you guys and then we could go ahead and continue the reading. But the spiritual message I got for you guys, I have answered the call. It says, what is your soul calling you to do? And I feel like this week is going to be all about you guys figuring out how you're going to how you're going to excuse me, achieve your life path or Figuring out where you're, where you're supposed to be headed in life, whether that's like spiritually or, you know, in your career or just period, figuring out where, where you're supposed to be. Some of you guys are having like this internal want to maybe move or go in a different direction when it comes to your career or just changing some things up. But this week, you guys are definitely going to be tuning into that and then at the bottom of the deck we do have you're already doing it and it says stop overthinking keep facing your true north so this is also a reassurance for anybody out there who is having this underlying fear that they're not you know going in the right direction you are just continue to look forward and don't look back and stop you know, thinking from a negative standpoint, if that is something that you're doing, try to, you know, focus on what's important and not focusing on where you came from. Okay, I hope that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. But understand that you're already doing it. Don't stress yourself out. You're going to get there if you just continue down the path that you're on already. Okay. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and pull an affirmations card to see what else is going on with you guys. Ooh. Okay, so two cards fell out. We have, I love and honor myself and I make a positive impact. And I'm going to read both of these cards to you guys, but... The first card, it says the same compassion and appreciation you give to others equally, if not more, is important to show to yourself. Words of affirmations, accepting mistakes and following your intuition are just some of the ways you can express and magnify self-love. So make sure you guys are nurturing yourself and not just being there for others. And make sure you guys are also taking some time to you know, appreciate yourself, like taking some alone time, maybe going on a vacation. And also forgiving yourself for anything that you may have done that you're not happy about. Just understanding that yes, you're perfect and that you're human and that you make mistakes as well. And that, you know, we're not all perfect and love yourself for that. And then the next card we have, I make a positive impact. It says, you have the power to positively change someone's day, week, or life with a small gesture. Be mindful in your interaction with others and also spread love and light. Be a beacon of happiness that illuminates the path of those around you near and far. So understand as well that you guys have a very positive aura, um, especially if you guys have like some cool ideas that you guys are wanting to implement. Those ideas can definitely help others especially if it is like something that you're trying to do to actually help others, it's definitely going to make an impact and understand that you guys are somebody who can change somebody's day just by, you know, telling them that they're beautiful or you just sharing your aura with them. So 
understanding that and keeping I guess that awareness inside of you should also help you kind of understand that, okay, hold on, if I could do this for other people, I can do that for myself as well. Kind of tying it back in with the I love and honor myself. Uh, Make sure that you're, you know, being there for yourself and cheering yourself up whenever you're down and not just being there for others, okay? Alrighty, so we're going to pull one card from here and then we're going to go ahead and see what's going on with you guys as far as love and finances and just general stuff give me one card for my Sagittarius for December 17th through the 24th please one card for my Sagittarius and this is the rebel deck if anybody wants to know this is the regular edition okay the card that came out it says you are loved it says you are here for a reason don't fuck it up so this week is all about self-love, guys, all about self-love, understanding that you're appreciated and understanding as well that, yes, there's there's people who care about you, but don't be so, I guess, in this victim role, if that is something that you guys have issues with. I don't feel like you guys do, but um, if that's how you're feeling right now, understand that, like, look, you're not a victim and you have people that care about you. Okay, so let's see what's going on with your love lives, guys. Single Sagittarius for December 17th through the 24th. Give me one card. And my Sagittarius in a relationship for December 17th through the 24th. All right. So my Sagittarius who are single, the cards that I have for you guys, I have It Is Safe For You To Love and Keep An Open Mind. So... You guys are dealing with somebody who you're trying to, I guess, get acquainted with. Uh, this may be somebody different than your usual type. Somebody very, for some of you guys, unusual. Like, they have some unusual tendencies. Or, again, they're just not somebody who is, like, up to your usual standards or expectations. And they may have some, you know, differences that you're not used to, but you're really trying to get to know this person. Uh, this may be a connection where again, you're trying to see if you can trust this person. They may be in the state of courting you and, you know, trying to sweep you off your feet, but you're really trying to see, okay, can I even trust you enough to give you my heart? Okay. And for my Sagittarius who are in a relationship, the cards that I have, I have give your relationship a chance and I have healing family issues. So you may be in a space of trying to work things out with you and your spouse. Uh, there may be some family issues going on, especially if you guys have kids. This may be taking a toll on your family and there is a need for you guys to, for one, work through these issues so your kids don't go through this stress. And for others of you, if it's not actual family issues between you two, if you guys don't have kids, um, it could be your spouse having maybe outside kids or a need for you to heal some family traumas. You're probably like feeling a sense of hurt or your love life is being affected by your family traumas and you may be attracting partners who may not be good for you, good for your well-being due to the fact that you're, you know, used to people like that since your childhood okay but nonetheless i am seeing this week you guys are definitely dealing with a connection where there's love on both sides you guys both love each other this may be a connection that's very very deep you may feel as if you've known this person before but there is a form of deception going on some of you guys may be taking a vacation with this person um but i feel like there's just not everything being revealed at the moment so if you are somebody who's trying to see where things are going i wouldn't rush into anything too too soon Okay, so let's go ahead and bust into a spread. What's going on, my Sagittarius? Whoa, for December 17th through the 24th. Sagittarius for December 17th through the 24th, please. Okay, so I have two cards that came out. So I have the Justice in Reverse and the Seven of Cups in Reverse. So you may be dealing with a Libra. 
if it's not a Libra, you may be dealing with a legal situation that you're that did not go in your favor. And you may be coming to reality about that, especially if this is like a divorce. For others of you, you again, you may have been dealing with a Libra and this person's upset with you because they feel like things are just not right inside of this relationship. There's issues with this person getting harmony within the connection or there's issues overall. It doesn't have to be with a, a Libra, but there's issues with you getting harmony within a connection and you're coming to reality about that. Also, you may be coming to reality about some injustices that may have taken place within your relationship with the three of pentacles. This may be a situation where um, this person was building a relationship with you and another person. Like there may have been multiple people in this connection. And if we're speaking about in a money sense, again, there may have been... some unjust things going on when it comes to we're gonna look more in depth i'm gonna keep going but let me lay these cards out because that's what i saw right off the bat sagittarius for december 17th through the 24th please okay one two three four and then five all righty Okay, so bottom of the deck, we have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles, okay? So you may be approached with the love offer from somebody. It could be from a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, or maybe even an Earth sign, okay? Uh, but somebody's trying to approach you with a love offer, and I feel as if this person is not really offering anything that you guys want to take for some of you guys you may turn this love offer down because you want to focus on your finances for others of you this person may be doing that to you um also this person may be very flaky like one moment they want to offer you love and the next second they want to pull out and because of that that's just leaving you in a very weird emotional funk and wanting to only focus on your finances and also looking for something that is going to provide stability okay you could be dealing with the taurus or libra but i feel as if this person is not willing to give this a second chance okay especially if you're trying to extend one Coming into this week, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I feel as if some of you guys are looking to give uh, an opportunity to somebody. You're wanting to give an opportunity to somebody. And you may be communicating with this person. It looks like maybe a water sign or somebody who you care about deeply. Um... For others of you, there may be a new job opportunity presenting itself to you. And it may be like many like opportunities coming in like out of nowhere you could also just feel like a lot of things are being thrown at you with this new opportunity okay yeah um also like i said you may be trying to present something to somebody and they just want to move forward and there may be issues with you actually getting a commitment with this person okay you want something stable and there's potential for it but i feel like Either there needs to be communication or somebody's wanting to move on, especially if you did come out of a relationship with this person. What I'm seeing in the past, I do have the emperor in reverse, okay? So you guys were having issues with getting control over your life. You could have been dealing with an air sign, Aries, Taurus, whoever, um, but there was issues with you getting control. And you guys may have been operating from this Queen of Swords energy. If you weren't, then this is somebody that you were dealing with. But you guys were like really like the, like taking a very nasty approach. I'm going to be honest with you guys because when the Queen of Swords is in reverse, like this is really nasty words being exchanged, um, operating from a really like manipulative standpoint when it comes to, like mental games, um, being very just like conniving and just very brutal okay you could have been dealing with somebody like that but if this isn't somebody you were dealing with this could have been you guys operating from this energy but definitely losing control of your situation also not operating from a space of logic as well and i have the seven of wands in reverse so also no longer be being able to fight for a connection Okay, but what I am seeing for the guidance, I do have the four of swords here clarified by the nine of swords in reverse. So you do need to take some time to figure some things out when it comes to your situation so that you can avoid some really like bad things happening because I feel like 
there is a need for you to get some clarity and you can only do that by taking some time to yourself and getting out of your head and out of this space of anxiety okay and that you can you know actually focus on your success because uh, yeah you guys are definitely needing to release something that is disastrous before it goes way too bad and focus on yourself and your foundation and your money and getting to a better place guys but what I am seeing for the guidance, or not the guidance, the focus and reason for this week, I do have the Six of Cups here. Whoa. Way too many cards. Okay, I have the Six of Cups here clarified by the Eight of Swords in Reverse. So... There's a situation here from your past, or maybe a situation with somebody who you have kids with. That you're really needing to come out of your head about, okay? You may be having nostalgia about the times that you guys did have, but you do need to come out of your head. You may have been trapped to this situation before, but this week it's going to really need, it's going to require you to come out of that mindset of feeling trapped to it, okay? Especially with somebody who you have kids with, uh, maybe a baby father, or... You, just, you guys just taking on this emperor energy and taking control of your life, okay? Because some things have not really transitioned in your life and you may be like still in your head about a situation that hasn't gotten better from your past as well and that's affecting you. Um, but what I am seeing for the outcome, guys, for this week, I do have the world card, which is pretty positive. This is letting me know that some cycles in your life are closing and you're finally receiving some sort of lesson, or you're finally getting it, clarifying the world card, I do have, see, that's the thing though, you guys are coming out in reverse, so you guys are closing some cycles out, but you may have been dealing with, again, this could be another fire sign, this doesn't have to be you, uh, you could have been dealing with a player, or you guys could have been a player, and now that cycle is finally coming to a close, I just feel like this week you guys do need to get a grip on yourself. Like you really do need to close some relationships out, whether it's with the earth sign, whether it's with the fire sign, whether it's with anyone. You guys do need to gain control over your life, okay? You do. Also, whoever's smoking weed too much, you got to chill because that's not going to help you control yourself emotionally, okay? So chill with smoking all that weed, okay? That's for somebody out there. That's for somebody. But all right, um, let's see what's going on with the cross watcher. And then, yes, what's going on with my Sagittarius cross watcher? So I have the Ten of Wands in reverse. This person is definitely done with the BS. What's going on my Sagittarius cross watcher partner and person in question? Oh, okay. So first two cards out, I have the death card and the page of swords in reverse. So this person's done. Like I feel like this person's super, super done with there being games. Um, they really don't want to communicate. Like they're really upset about the fact that things have just, you know, not worked out between you guys. I have the nine of swords at the bottom of the deck. So this is letting me know that they're having anxiety. Like they're sick and tired of coming. Coming. They're sick and tired of waking up at night, like stressing about the situation. Okay. The next. Okay. This is way too many cards. The next card out, we have the 10 of swords. So yeah, this person's at their wit's end. They've they feel like they mu they mentally suffered enough. They can't take any more. Like, they're really just at their wit's end. They literally cannot take it, okay? The next two cards, I have the Four of Swords in re or Four of Wands in reverse and the Queen of Swords. So you're definitely dealing with air energy here, a little bit of Scorpio energy. But uh, if you're dealing with the air sign, this person is feeling like the foundation that you guys built, this family foundation you guys built, or this twin flame connection you guys had is over. Like there's real, there's really no foundation here anymore. This person is like operating from a very detached space. Even if you're like not dealing with an air sign, this person's still operating from a very detached space. They're only coming up as air energy. So this is letting me know that they're only operating from logic. I'm sorry if I'm getting tongue tied guys. Then I have the queen, why do I keep saying the queen? The page of pentacles. 
So this person's trying to look for different money opportunities. They're just really thinking about their money right now. With the Hermit in reverse, they're really not trying to think about the situation anymore. With the Knight of Wands in reverse, they're not even passionate about this anymore. And they, they made their decision. I feel like somebody here is emotionally immature and somebody's done wasting their time because there's no growth. And they may feel this way about you or this could be them operating from a very emotionally uh, immature state. But overall, whoever's being emotionally immature, this is why it's not going anywhere. Somebody needs to be more mature and I feel like it's you guys. I'm not going to lie. Okay, I'm not going to lie. And that's the lesson is to be more emotionally mature. So I love you guys so much. I'm a sad rising. So I don't want you guys to think that I hate you. I love you guys so much. Um, but that's pretty much it for your reading. If it did resonate, make sure you like this video. Make sure you get your own personal reading if you need one. And I will see you Saggies in your next one. Bye guys.